Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Review. Really excited for today's beer. It's Chris, my man, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Uh, he and I have been friends for 17 years, a long time, 18 years. Um, and uh, uh, we do not live close to each other anymore. Uh, he moved away, but we're still close. Still do the beer thing, talk pretty much every day. And uh, he sent me a bunch of beer I'm really excited about. I got some stuff to send him, trying to get a few more things to send his way because he really sent me a ton of awesome stuff, um, including some 18th Street. And uh, I've only had a few 18th Streets, and I really enjoyed them. I actually have a proper uh, glass from 18th Street. I did a beer trade a couple years ago, and uh, the dude threw in this glass as an extra without any of the beer from them. So I always appreciate having the right beer for the right glass. Um, this is actually a collaboration with 18th Street and Burial, uh, brewed at 18th Street, though. Uh, Burial, I've had uh, a decent amount of their stuff. Um, Matt at Glass Can Bottle Beer Review. Make sure you check him out. Glass Can Bottle Beer Review. Um, uh, has sent me some stuff. We get a little bit up here in New York. Uh, every once in a while I see some. And uh, so anyways, I'm really excited to do this collaboration. And it's a double dry hopped, double India pale ale with passion fruit and passion flower. I don't know what passion flower is, but I love passion fruit. A couple weeks ago, a uh, volleyball tournament for my daughter and the team was like, let's go get Mexican food. I'm like, all right, I love Mexican food. And they had margaritas and they had passion fruit margaritas and that's what i ordered and it was delicious so i'm really excited for this beer and uh also speaking of exciting this is my 399th beer video um and my 400th has some really cool surprises make sure you subscribe so that you can uh, see my 400th video which will be the one i post after this because that's numeric order 399 to 400 well, let's get into this beer you probably just clicked to actually hear about this beer <laughs> um yeah, so 18th Street. So that guy, didn't, didn't he work at uh, Pipeworks first, I think, before having this brewery? Um, definitely an experienced brewer. Listen to at least one podcast was at the Beer Temple that he was on. Seems like a cool dude. Anyway, my friend Jim was just there for work and grabbed some of these beers. Almost exactly two fingers ahead. Very cloudy, murky. It's kind of like hazy pineapple juice. That's so like exactly the color, actually. The head is a little off-white. Uh, compact bubbles around it, and then the center has some bigger ones that are kind of popping. Um, looks very appetizing. Oh, sorry. Gotta get the aroma. Definitely tropical. I don't know if I get passion fruit first, though. I get very ripe pineapple, mango, then probably passion fruit third, some citrus fourth, but all sweet. It's not bursting. I, I'd say it's pretty much middle of the road in terms of aroma. It's what it, what's there is very pleasant. It's just taking a little bit to dig out. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah, middle of the road, but the, the aromas are very nice. It's just not like a bouquet of like, wow, hitting me over the head with it. Cheers to the taste, though. That's good. Pretty good mouthfeel. I'm going to say medium mouthfeel. Good level of bitterness. Cutting through some of you know, like the tropical fruit notes and stuff. What's the ABV on this? Didn't look that, at, <clears throat> didn't look that up ahead of time. I don't actually see an ABV. Did not mean to rhyme that. I don't see an ABV. I'm curious what it is. It's a little lighter. Yeah, that tastes like a little bit more passion fruit. It probably goes passion fruit. Actually, kiwi. A little bit of kiwi. Some citrus. Then the pineapple. Finishes pretty dry. Melon. That's the other thing that's in there. Some honeydew melon that's ripe. Not overly ripe, though. It's not overly sweet. It's a good beer. Yeah, I like this. Um, I'm actually about to split this with my wife and do another burial. Or, sorry, another 18th Street, which will be my 401 video. So I'll be going out of order in terms of reality. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that one too. It's a good beer. Um, if you like IPAs that have fruit in them, this is uh, worth checking out. It wouldn't be at the top of my list. So at the bottom of my list, it's a very good beer. Um, and uh, that can art is sick. I forgot to say that. Very cool. Can art. Thank you again, Jim. Really appreciate the beer. And uh, check me out on Instagram, untapped everyone. Just no hype beer reviews at both those places. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.